Labor leaders across Canada say that permanent paid sick days are a critical tool to protect workers, not just during this pandemic, but all future health crises. And today we spoke with an essential worker in Ontario who's already seeing the damaging effects of not having paid sick days. It's not a choice. So I didn't get to make the choice to take the time off. Kim Bradley is an early childhood educator who has been working throughout the pandemic. She was forced to isolate for two weeks after one of the children she works with tested positive for COVID-19. During her time off, she lost $600 from her pay despite accessing the federal paid sick day relief fund. While she has money saved, not everyone is as lucky. The people don't just have, you know, seven or $800 sitting in a bank account that they can make up for that loss of the federal funds. $700 or $500 or whatever you lose on your paycheck. To some families, that's the rent. That's the groceries. How do I eat next week? Do I, just, do I pay the hydro or do I feed my children? If people have to choose between putting food on the table and going to work with symptoms, COVID-19 will continue to spread through workplaces and communities. Today, the presidents of Ontario's, B.C.'s and Manitoba's federations of labour united to demand provincially legislated paid sick days for every worker in Canada. They say the benefits far outweigh the costs and the federal program falls far short of what is needed. It only replaces a fraction of their lost pay and not all workers qualify. It is a temporary benefit for a limited time. The Canada Recovery Sickness Benefit covers $500 a week for employees who are unable to work due to COVID-19. That's $450 a week after taxes. The Premier has been asked about the shortfalls of the program multiple times. I'll repeat it for the hundredth time. Uh, the taxpayers out there, I ask you this question. Would you want the federal and provincial government to double dip into your pockets? You know, it's not about double dipping. It's about provincial's responsibility to um, ensure that their workers are protected. Premiers need to act. They need to act now. Uh, the need has never been greater. In a statement, the Ministry of Labour says there is still $800 million available in the federal program, which more than 100,000 people in this province have already used. The Ontario government has been advocating on behalf of workers to ensure this money is distributed faster, is easier to access, and is accessible to workers who need it multiple times. The province says the federal government has also listened to their concerns, getting the average pay payment time down to three to five days and also doubling the claim period from two weeks to four weeks. And meantime, the NDP has tabled a bill calling for 14 permanent paid sick days during a pandemic and also permanent paid sick days to be embedded into labour law. The vote for that will happen on Monday.